I'm up at, I'm up at like friggin one thirty watching the office and I'm thinking to myself, Oh, I should make a YouTube video. What should I do? I should do a review on my um, uh, my lightning jet set because you know, I already did shadows. I already did this. I already did this one and so I should do this one. This is the, the most fragile um, uh, camera assortment I've ever made in my life. So yeah, this is the most fragile camera assortment I've ever made in my life. Here's my um, uh, quality tripod that I use for my, um, my, my, my stick bots over there, down there. That's a bit of a mess. That right there is a bit of a mess, but don't focus on that. Focus on this fragile camera arrangement. I mean, Jesus. It's insane. Anyway, time for the review. And then in the end, I actually don't even have to use it because I just came up with a way better thing. I'm, uh, originally, I was going to place the camera right here and the review like that. So I was like... Sorry, what is that in the distance? That's supposed to be a Lego review? So, instead, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do, here's my hands, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sets as a background for what, during the review, and that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That was so much better. Okay, you're telling me that I have to stop watching The Office on a good episode to actually make a YouTube video? Uh, whatever, fine. Hello, hello, my peeps. Today I will be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Legacy. I'm a set J Storm fight J Storm Fighter. I'm a this set. This set has I'm a 690 pieces. I'm a, it is six. It is set seven seven zero six six eight, and it is eight, and it is nine nine plus. Jokes on you! I built it in one day. Hmm. I know my jokes aren't funny. Um, it's a part of the Ninjago Legacy line. It comes. It comes with J, Nia, Lash, and Pythor minifigure sizing with J. Little Kai right there. Here's the. Here's the set. The lighting's all weird again. Don't worry, it's fine. And there's something a bit different today. I actually have a script, a little bit of one. But anyway. I don't think I need to explain. I don't think I need to explain the Ninjago Legacy line to people. If you, if to people, unless unless you didn't see my last video, link's gonna be in the description probably. I don't think so. And if if you didn't see the last video, I'm a. Then you, if you did see the last video, then you will, then you will know that I am collecting all of the Ninjago Legacy sets. I actually have a few of them. They're Cole's Earth Thriller, Samurai Mech, I'm a. Ultra Dragon, I thought it was called Epic Dragon for a second. Um, uh, the my last review and a bunch of spinners. And the only ones that I'm missing are the Monastery Spinjitsu, Lo the Lloyd vs. Garmadon spinner, um, uh, the Monastery Training, and the Golden Dragon. Luckily, my birthday's coming up soon, so I'm um, uh, yay. Anyway, let's get into the actual review. If you take a look at the back of the box, which is probably going to be super dark. You can see all that fine, beautiful detail. Collect the golden weapons. It's that long. Does that, does that, and does what that. I can't see that in the dark. Anyway. This set will be placed. And also, I've got beautiful J artwork right there. In all of the legacy sets, this set will be placed ar around here, somewhere about there. This will get into play later. Screw script, I don't need a script. I probably do. But anyway, moving right along. This, it, this is a set. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down. Since I don't need the box anymore. This is a set. Um, when I was a lot, when I was a lot younger, when Ninjago Season 1 was a thing. When Ninjago Season 1 was, uh, the biggest thing in my universe, next to... Toy Story, like like normal, 
Um, uh, I actually had the original Stormfighter set. You don't believe me? Here's a bag filled with the pieces. And a, and a trigger happy gun for some reason. Anyway, I digress. I was a huge Ninjago fan back then. What? Kill me? I um, mur murder me, crucify me, whatever. I was I was a child and I practically still am. Please, someone get help. But anyway, so yeah, this is a really cool set. I'm a, just it reminds me so much of the original, which is awesome because I have a very faint memory of the original. There's only a, there's only a few differences other than the some of the major de design differences. I'm a. The in the in the interior actually have a having a chair. These little lightning details on the side, um, uh, the there being a different side on the engine flaps and the spring loaded missiles. Oh yeah, and uh, inside things, but we'll get to those later. But anyway, so yeah, before we take a look at the set, let's take a look at the amazing minifigure selection. I can do this if I want to, it's my show. This new figure that we're going to take a look at is GA right here. Ooh. See that? It makes a cool, weird design on the floor. But it makes it easier to see the figure. And it just fell over, okay. Anyway, so yeah, this I love this design for Jay. It's absolutely amazing. I'm a Jay, much like most minifigures in the Ninjago Legacy line, ever since the it, no, the Ninjago toy line, ever since I'm a the the Ninjago movie came out. Hold on, gotta adjust the camera. Just look at him. Anyway, so yeah, if you look close, I forgot what I was talking about, but if you look closely, you can see the little dragon details on them. They loop around with his back and go over there. But yeah, um, uh, ever since the Lego Ninjago movie came out, the ninja have been getting, um, uh, there it is, these face designs. Jay has this one, and if you flip it around, it's that one. And it's a little scared slash nervous design. And the next minifigure is Nia, Kai's sister and Jay's girlfriend in in the series. She she has the spirit, and let me just say, I love the I love Gunmetal Gray so much. Her dragon on her suit goes like that, goes around, and then like that. Anyway, I don't. Also, I don't think I need to explain the posability of a Lego minifigure. If I do, then you people really need help. But anyway, much like the other figures, she has this face. This is what I get for making a video. Anyway, she has that face on the back. This face, shocked, ex and the smiling expression. Next minifigure, Lasha. If you want to end up look at him, then go ch check out my last video. Link in the description, probably. And the next minifigure is one I'm excited for, Pythor. Pythor Peak Chumsworth. He was um, uh, the leader of, of the of the fabled Anacondri. Anacondri? Anacondri is the snake that they're based off, Anacondri. Yes, I got that right. Now, what I like to do with Pythor, I'm a... Uh, what I like to do, considering that his only accessory is the staff, the way that I like to display him, I'm a... Uh, the way that I like to display him, and I know I'd bounce from one topic to another, but I don't really care. This is my show. I can do whatever I want. The way I like to display Pythor is I'm uh, taking this, this staff, putting it like that, and then taking this custom snake staff that I made, putting it like that. That looks really cool. Anyway, so that, that good, does it for the minifigures. Let's get on to the actual stuff. This little shrine for the nunchucks of lightning right here is a really good thing. It kind of reminds me a little bit. Hold on. 
just know whenever I take a break like that, you can, like, you can pause and go get, like, a drink or something, or, I don't know. But anyway, whenever, it re it reminds me a lot of the shrine from, uh, the previous set that I, that I, that I took a look at. This one, right here. Except less details and no flame. It should have, it should have had at least some electrical piece. That would have been really, really cool. But anyway, so, um, uh. And as you can see, there's the nunchucks of lightning. Let me just say, Lego, very, very smart choice to put it like that, to put them like this. I'm gonna, in my eyes, my only, my only complaint is that in the original series, the dragons were producing the lightning. But anyway, just like with the other golden weapons, you can put them right in ninja's hands, just like that. And boom, there's that. The next thing is the actual set. The Stormfighter itself. Like I said, I had this thing back when I was a lot younger, and I loved playing with it from what I can actually, from from the faint memories that I have of actually owning this set, I loved, I loved it so much. Mainly because I was just obsessed with the character Jay, but you know, I don't have any problems or anything. I just really like Jay. I don't have any problems. Well, I clearly, I clearly have a Lego problem, but it's not a problem if I don't admit to it, right? Well, I just did. That ruined the joke. Anyway, I'm uh, not digressing off the topic of my terrible humor. Gosh, I really need to stop getting distracted. Digressing off the topic of my terrible humor, this is a good set. This is a good build. The features are that can open up there. Also, by the way, little um, a little life hack for the, you people, for you pe for you disgusting people that like weapon storage. Don't worry, I'm one of you. You can take this right here. Open that, and then you can shove the nunchucks of lightning in there. I know it's very crappy looking right now, but I could do it better if I I I'd do it better if I could edit, but I can't edit. I need to get an editing software. So, there's that. Close that. Another of the features is the spring loaded missiles. I've never seen that again. Oh, wait, no, there it is. And it even comes with an extra one, which I. What I like to do with this. Put the camera down. What I like to do with this extra one is I'm a. Plug it on the bl the back and make it look like a blast effect is coming from the back. That looks really cool. Now the next thing, the next thing that this set it can do is honestly a bit confusing because it's called attack. It's called oh what was falling, attack mode, and attack mode is like that, but the bullets poof out that way. If any of y'all hear, if any of y'all people hear a weird sound out there, like, then it's my it's my toilet that does that sometimes. I don't know why. I'm just saying, I need to stop getting distracted. Gosh. Anyway, so, and just simply close it like that. I th I think the original one had a feature similar to this, except it was the engine that just slid forward, not this thing leaning forward. Also, it didn't have a little latch. The original one, I think. All I do know is that I'm a uh, bit. I need to stop doing that. This one looks like a dragon. A little bit. Anyway, it has a few. It has a few stickers, specifically right here and here. Right here, I think inside there. Nah, there's nothing there. Anyway, so. <laughs> Here's that set, now let's get to the final verdict. Oh yeah, and how am I to display it? So, I'm gonna, uh, here's my display of the product. I know, it's hard to see, my lighting is terrible. This playroom light is really weird. By the way, those Infinity War success reviews are coming soon. At least until I get the last one. As you can see, hey. What, what? Where is the one for the Mind Stone? I forgot what the set's called. Crap.
Anyway, where's that set? Well, it's a retired product, apparently, so I will ramble on about that later, but until then, this is the final product, James Stormfighter. It is set 70668, and it is ages 9 and up. The final verdict on this set, I'd give it a 8 out an eight, eight, but baby, the baby, the stew. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Do I have to explain my reasoning? No, I don't really have to. But let me just say... Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. It looks great on the shelf so far. And then... It looks beautiful. I'm not going to have enough room to record all of this. Ugh. I just realized that. Crap. Anyway, so far it looks really great on the shelf. Everybody... Okay. That... Wait. Oh, that's better. Upward view. Very good. So this was my video. I'm recording this at like 2 in the morning. I'm tired, but I want to watch The Office as well. I'm very conflicted, as you can see. Oh yeah, and another problem. Look at him. Lost that piece. Anger now. <sighs> Goodbye. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Dad. Subscribe to Dimeball. Subscribe to everyone. Whatever. I'm tired.